Auto loading big Heston bells? You better believe it. What's going on everybody? DJ Goham here. Welcome back to the channel. Hope you guys are having a great day and welcome back to new mods. We've got a couple updates for you as well as an awesome new addition to the SX Heavy Pack lineup. We've got auto loading Heston bells. We've got an update to the Flegal Low Loader. You can just put as many of them together as you want. Plus, we got a couple classic mods for you. Let's check it out. First up today, we have the Flegal Flatbed Semi Trailer. This is an update. Change log 1.2 on this. Handling with loaded bales improved. Fixed collision problems with square bales. Different positions of tension bales for or tension belts for square and round bales. That is good. Added support for the big bales from the mod hub, the Heston Balers. Oh yeah, y'all, we got 20 of these bad boys on there right now. And added auto loading as a configuration. So let's take a look at the new version because this is completely new. So we have three versions of this trailer. Well, technically I have four versions of this trailer now. So we have one version that is just single by itself, nothing crazy. Then we have three auto loading versions. Did I pass them? I think I passed them. Definitely passed them. So here we have the flatbed semi-trailer round bales, flatbed semi-trailer square bales, and square bales big. All of them cost exactly the same, so that is good. And we're gonna check out these square bales big. Now do keep in mind, they will only auto load whatever you select. However, we can choose to make this not an auto loading trailer. Main color, We'll just choose something bright green. That's going to change your base uh, base around the bottom and around the top area. Rim color. We've got a couple different versions right here for you. We're just going to go with a red, make it look kind of wild and crazy. Design color. This is going to be a yellow. That is going to be the flatbed itself. And then your decals, white, black, all that good stuff. That is on the back. There you go. Auto load. Yes or no. We definitely want auto load. Attachers, standard or trailer attacher. So you can use a trailer attacher to hook a bunch of these up together. And then tires, we have the Lizard tires, Trailer Bork, and Michelin tires. So there you go. Nothing too crazy, but it works perfectly. So now you can auto load those big bales. Next up, we have the Flegal Low Loader. This is also an update for you. Change log 1.1. Added trailer attacher back and added more tension belts. So there are legit tension belts all over this thing now. Up there and up here. That is so cool. And we've got a trailer attacher on there now. And we're using the in-game dolly so you know that it'll work with just about anything. Let's check this out. Where are you going to find this? This is going to be found in low loaders. It's right here, Flegal Low Loader right there. Design color, we're gonna change this to a red. That is going to be your main frame. Main color, this is gonna be the top area. That is that gray. And then of course, rim color. We've got a couple different options. We're gonna go with chrome because I think it looks good. Decal white, that is only back decal right there. Extension, yes or no. So we can put the extension on there. And attachers. This is the cool part. This is something we... We didn't really need this, but it's awesome. We got a trailer attacher back there now. 700 bucks. Hey, I'll take it. That is so cool. Awesome, awesome, awesome. This is the Flegal Low Loader Update. Next up, we've got another update for you. This is the SX Heavy Pack. Changelog 1.0.2 added the tipper version. So now we have a version with a tipper on here. You don't have to use it with the IT Runner Pack, anything like that. And... Check out this animation. Look at that. It's a, look at that. That is so cool. Oh, that is an awesome. And you could, you could like stop it halfway through. So if you just want to like roll around doing like this, you could easily do that. That's cool. And it holds 60,000 liters. That's right. 60,000 liters in this guy right here. That's crazy. Let's check it out. You're going to find this in trucks and it's going to be right beside the other guys right there. SX Tipper. Boom, main color. Uh, again, my complaint is that every single color is chromed out and I don't like that whatsoever. I don't know. <sighs> Rabble, it's all right, whatever. So you could <laughs> choose whatever you want, chrome it out, it's all good. Design color, this is going to be the stripe down the side of the truck. You might be able to see that red stripe right there. Wheel brand, we have Trelleborg and Lizard. Wheel setups are standard on both. Nothing we can do there. 
or we can go with a 500 horsepower engine or an 875 horsepower engine. Yeah, I'm going to go with the 875 horsepower engine every single time. That is your SX Heavy Pack update. We've got one more update for you today. This is the Ursus 1212. But unfortunately, I have no idea. I know it says 1214. I changed the engine. <laughs> but I have no idea what the change is for this. So I've gone in. I've tried to figure it out. I've got nothing. So let's go in and let's see if we can figure it out together. So I'm going to go into small tractors. Here we go. The 1212, even though it says 1214 on there, you can just ignore that. It'll be all right. Rim color. Those all look the same. Design colors. Those all look the same. Main color. These all look the same. Configurations. We've got different weights. Yep. Bottoms and tops. Mud flaps. Back and forth mud flaps. Yep. I remember talking about those. Wheel setups. Those all look the same. Front loader attacher. Yes or no. Yeah, but it's... It, I, don't, I don't know. I also find it interesting that it says it's a 1212 and yet the sticker says 1214. I don't know what it is, so if you think you know what the change is on this guy right here, let me know down in the comment section below. Making our way into the new mods today, and there's only one new mod for all platforms. That is this right here, the Rabe or the Rabe Front Cultivator. This is a three meter front cultivator. What you're gonna do with this is basically put it on the front and then you can put any kind of uh, drill or th three meter implement on the back. So you can do one pass and take care of two things, or if you just wanna use it on the front, go for it. Let's check this out. This is going to be found in cultivators, in tools, and then you're just gonna bump over to, you see it's a little small blue one right there. Front Packer is the name of it, nine miles per hour. Design with lights or without lights. So those are gonna be the lights and the warning squares there. Otherwise, that is it right there. Uh, it costs you a hundred bucks with the lights, comes with those automatically. So just keep that in mind if you're looking to only spend $1,500 on this and you're like, wait, why did I spend $1,600? It may, money may be tight. You never know. But there you go. There's the Rabe or the Rabe Front Cultivator. I don't know how to say it. And lastly, today we have a brand new mod for PC and Mac players. This is the PIM40. We're going to find this. This is going to be found in tools, in trailers. And there it is for $7,400. This is a forge trailer, so it's going to be holding shaft, silage, that kind of thing. Let's check it out. Got a couple different configurations for you. Rim color. We've got red, green, and black color ribbon. We have red. We have yellow, which is going to be everything on the bottom right there. Uh, it changes everything except for the PTO. Also have green and black. I think the black looks the best. We have main color, which is gonna be red or green. I think the green looks pretty good. And then as far as, what is this, color labels. The labels, the writing on the side, that can either be a tan or more of a yellow tan. So you got that. And the capacity, we have 42,000 liters or 28,000 liters. So 42,000 liter capacity for $7,600. That might be the cheapest trailer in the entire game right here. That ain't too bad. If only it had a rear trailer, we hit we put a bunch of these together. That's not too bad at all. And then as far as design goes, we have standard and remove flaps. So we've got one that is removed in the front. And then if we go around to the back, the ends that kind of cover up these chains right here, that is going to be removed as well. I think removed looks good. See the exposed chain. Man, that looks really nice. This is a very good looking mod. Awesome job, yeah. And lastly, today we've got a brand new map for console. This has been out on PC for about a week now. However, console's got it today. This is Geiselsberg. Welcome to the beautiful Geiselsberg near Horn or Horndorf. It's in Germany, I can't say it, but We've got a change log on this one. Uh, so general bug fixes, seasons ready, added placeable buildings. That is awesome. Man, I'm pretty sure that update was from last week as well. So consoles got the update too. That is good. And we're just waiting on seasons. No word on that yet, but make sure you guys stay tuned to the channel for that. And also stay tuned to the channel for more on this map. I, I'm all over the place right now. I don't even know what we're doing. But I'm having a good time. We're, we're experiencing a lot of different maps. And I definitely want to get in on this one, especially checking out this main farmyard. 
because it is really crazy in there. There's a whole lot of fun stuff. I'm excited about this map. Well, guys, that is going to be it for today. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please drop a like. No, please subscribe. If you have any questions, drop those in the comment section below and let me know which one of these mods today are you going to be using or you're not going to be using any of them. Let me know down in the comment section below. I really like this truck. I'm not sure if I'm going to be using it a whole lot, but you can guarantee we're going to be doing some work with this guy right here. But with all that being said, Hope you guys have a great day. We will see you later. Peace.